this is Alicia back with the Desert Winds. We're going to continue our leather armor here. You probably recall we've cut these pieces out. We have dyed them. Um, I later found out we should have waited actually on the dyeing until a little later. But since you're probably going to watch these videos in order, you won't make that mistake. Now, these can be used for either scale or lamellar depending on the holes that you're putting in and of course the intention of the armor. Now for what I wanted this is going to end up being scale mail but depending on what you want you're actually going to do more holes or less holes according to your exact project needs. I'll go over some lamellar uh, weaving techniques and some other videos if you're interested in that. Now for this I just needed two holes and we refer to them kind of as the snake bite up here near the top. Easy to do. So one of the things I did was I made sure that my masterpiece, my pattern piece, has those same holes in it. Uh, so I can always use that again later if I find that I didn't make enough scales or if I get commissioned or asked to do another one for whatever reason. Now I need to make these two holes in the exact same spot on all my pieces. So a couple of things I need. I have my marble slab. Um, I have a scrap piece of leather that is thick enough that I can do what I need for it. As you can see, I've been using it quite a bit. Um, there's also other things you can use. Hardened leather always works better than this. However, I misplaced my piece. Um, you can also buy their black boards that you can place on top just for this type of, of work. Um, but what I'm going to do is I take a stack of three, one, two, three pieces. I take my pattern piece or the master piece, the first one I did my holes in. I take a regular, just regular Bic pen here. And I kind of just make marks for those holes. Okay. Now I've got my nice black marks. Now of course if you have not dyed your leather already, thank you. Um, if you have not dyed your leather already, these are much easier to see but I'm close enough I can see just fine. Now I have this nice little tool here for punching the holes. And now I only want to go through three at a time because I don't want things getting so thick that I can't get through it all. I also don't want it to end up moving as I go. So three is about my limit here. I have this nice little tool for doing this. I don't actually remember what it's called but that's okay. Uh, we're going to put this here and take my hammer. Make sure I go through all three layers Ta -da, and do the next one. Mm, didn't quite go through. I'm going to hold it steady more caps. Boom. I'm through. I can just twist it out. Now the reason I don't do it directly on the marble is because I don't want this tip coming into contact with the marble and getting pounded in because that will miss, pretty much break the tool. Um, at a minimum just make it not work as well. So I have another piece of leather or something else that it can just, when it gets to the end, it's going into this instead of the leather so I can set those out. So I'm going to drop my pieces here. I'm just going to toss these in the pile. And I grab my next step. And I do the same thing. Pattern piece on. I mark it. Make sure it's on top of the leather. probably takes me a few more taps than it will most people just because I don't have a huge amount of arm strength or ham hand strength while hammering. Now, because of how loud this step of the process is, I do not recommend doing it in the middle of the night. But there we have it. Punching holes into your leather armor. And we'll be back 
again later for some more tips on some of the other steps involved with doing this.